अंदर यार यार अंदर यार यार अंदर 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 यार अंद Vidya ji. Sabka kaam gharap karo. One of the 
great joys to find an honest voice, one that's not afraid to say it as it is, and especially a voice that translates onto paper as is, as the person herself. Kubra has poured her heart and soul into this book, and I urge all of you to get a copy. You won't be disappointed, because it's a fantastic book, and I had a lovely time working with you. So that's it. Have a very lovely evening, folks, and I'm going to hand this over to you guys. Perfect, we all have mics. Now can I introduce uh, Varun Dukhirala, please? Yeah. That's like a no pressure point for me right now. Like, what are you going to Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't Roshan Abbas. <laughs> I, I sent you the invite with the wrong name. Read that. <laughs> I am subbing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, but uh, thank you so much, V, for doing this. Uh, I, totally. I, 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 I love you so much. Thank you. No, I, uh, the good part about doing this is I normally am a slow burn with books. I read them over a period of time. This one I kind of went through a lot faster. Like okay, I got to read this back to back and right there. And it, it's one of those books when I, I kept reading it and I'm like, I feel like I discovered many sides of you beyond what our conversations have been about. Uh, but I actually want to ask the first question to you, saying what did you, what was your reaction in terms of what did you discover about her? You didn't already know. Then you have to Firstly, go. hi everyone. And a big congratulations, hi. Kubra. Oh. I think, you know, I have to say, but I love the book, and not because I'm sitting here. I, I agreed to come here over a message because I'm so fond of Kubra. Um, but you know, when I, I think it's aptly titled Open Book because I don't know of another book that's as open as this is. I was amazed by the kind of things she's shared um, and you know, I, I, I know that each of us who's made it uh, or come thus far has a story but it was very interesting to know, you know, because Kubra, you know, today is someone who's, who's constantly laughing, she's, you know, like, <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Are you shy? I'm just yeah, like gobsmacked. <laughs> no, but you know, she's, yes, she's, <laughs> she's, she's like a live wire and then when you read her story, it's just, it's amazing. You you feel that much more, I think, uh, I feel like I know her a little more um, and um, I think it takes a lot to bear your soul the way she has yeah. and hands off to her. I don't know you know, uh, how everyone has reacted to what she's written. That's a separate conversation for, I am no. <laughs> no, because I, I think it's just amazing the kind of things she's shared about family, about friends, about her journey in the industry, about her journey otherwise, you know, in her teens. And I think it's just incredible. I don't want to say too much because I think it has to be read. I read it at one go. Mm. And very honestly, I'm not so much of a reader anymore. Um, I, I find it, I'm, I'm, I don't have the bandwidth to read most of the time, but I just started reading this and I was like, wow, this is a person behind or, you know, within Kura. I think it was really revelatory and in a, in a wonderful way. You know, I have to ask you this. There's always that the first day when you start writing a book. Um, what was day one like? Day one, blank page. What did you set out to write on that first day? Oh well, uh, the first day is what I wrote. Like, was what was more, what was meant to be the first chapter, but became the prologue, mm -hmm. which was about like the whole geography of my teeth. And I thought it was so impersonal yet personal that I could address it with like absolute clarity. And I just found myself to be like that child sitting on the dentist chair with my feet swinging. I remember like my. Uh, orthodontist used to come from Erod to like, you know, and Erod is a very small town yeah, in the south of India, it's very small. And the best orthodontist was from Erod. <laughs> so I was like, amazing, <laughs> this is great. So I don't know, I thought it was impersonal, it was detached and yet so attached to me because most people look at me today and like, oh, you've got such a great smile and you smile so well and, and nobody 
somebody asks me if I fixed my teeth. Because they think it was God's gift. It wasn't. It was my erode orthodontist who fixed my teeth. Yeah. I also think she said something beautiful, you know, which is that um, there was she was detached and yet there was something very personal and that's what I found about the book. I find uh, that it, it made me smile, it made me laugh sometimes with her observations or the way she describes her experiences. Some of the, some maybe even terrifying experiences, she's got, you know, uh, a few. <laughs> but I think that it's such a, uh, it is an objective, almost like a spectator's viewpoint, yet it's something she's been through. So I think that I found, I found wonderful about the book, very, uh, very unique and very her. It's her voice all the way. Something that actually is in there in the last chapter, I think it's like having a conversation with your inner self, which most of us don't do. We don't talk to the person inside and as we kind of grow older, this layer after layer that kind of comes in some way that, that person you were initially back down there kind of goes away. Um, I also want to, and, and I want to kind of like go to you and then I have an addition there which I'll come to you. Is that when you were writing the book, uh, were there points where you, you almost thought back on life and said, like, I remembered this differently till I wrote about it? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, like for example, the dad chapter. Because everything about my dad, me, and it's so funny that I call him dad and I've never called him dad. Right? He's always been Papa. So, the fact that I looked at him differently, like now, my conversations about our relationship were so different from what I was fed, or what I was told, or what I was meant to believe. I think when I read those moments out aloud after writing them, I felt I had made peace with our relationship and similarly with many other relationships. It was interesting because I felt I was in a place of a lot of forgiveness. Also as an individual and as a woman and as a momager at yeah. one point. And, you know, so many different things. I thought that was just amazing. So there were little things I, I, I underlined because they really, even the way she had described it, the, the way she had worded it, made an impact on me. That's so true, right? Yeah. And I feel also in some point to write about people closest to you, connected to family, especially on personal entrepreneurs, I totally get that. Um, so when you kind of think back on your voice. Oh, South Indian, so, guy, South Indian. So. That is true, I have to agree with that. Yes. Tamil, yes. Oh, oh, oh. be that. Now you don't go like, oh, Madrasa. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But uh, when you think back on your voice, you feel your voice and the, the inner voice is evolved. Only if you're comfortable with who you are, we will put it out there. Oh. I'm so grateful. And there was. And that's all. Sorry. He said, "What's the best advice you got this morning?" I said, "I just won't let you." Yeah, that was a responsibility. <laughs> because I can't remember advice. I cannot remember advice. I'm the one giving advice. <laughs> And actually, the other question I was going to I, I told you I might ask you, but I'm actually going to ask you this is that, which is the part that inspired you the most as you did this? For a day. There were, I think, bits and chapters. There was, um, like, one of my favorite chapters is the chapter um, about her mother. But equally, I think the chapter where she talks about a certain decision she took when she was in Dubai. And I think um, I was just, you know, uh, like you said, I think you've reached a stage where you've been able to forgive yourself. I think and that I know is what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. And I think that's what we're all hoping to do in life, you know, because we're constantly judging ourselves. And um, because we can't bear judging ourselves, we end up judging the rest of the world. But ah. I think um, that, that she's, I think I've, there were lots of, 
bits. But the way she describes her relationship with Danish and how it went through a slight, you know, um, a period where they were sort of a little distance. Uh, there was a bit of a distance between them and how that happens between siblings, that happens between parents and children, that happens between couples, you know. But for her to have actually said it, and I think all of that was inspiring. I think the truth is what inspired you know, and the fact that, um, like, like I said, to be able to be, we find it very difficult to forgive ourselves for the smallest of things, forget the biggest thing, bigger things, and I think if she's been able to do that, that for me is very inspiring. It's beautiful, like a... But you don't want to hold you up. Please, please. Please, please. Who are you? Please, I want to be. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that's no, this is just for Kubra. Everyone else. <laughs> I was like, it's important if you want to give away too much of the book, there's a point to stop. And I'm like, after you said what you just said, I'm like, there is, okay, you can't talk that much.